At the Four Eyes Lab at UCSB, we're really interested in pushing the uh, uh, technology of augmented reality so that people can use information from the web, from their own personal resources, from, from other people in a wide variety of situations. So that the sort of idea of any time, any place, having access to information that's directly relevant to where you are and what you're doing. So an example of this uh, augmented reality telecollaboration work is, say there's a maintenance application. So somebody local is needing to, to repair or, or fix something, but the remote expert is telling him or her what to do. If there's only video, it's really kind of difficult to get a sense of what to move, what to touch, what to manipulate, what switch to flip, things like that. So what our work is uh, attempting to do is to create models of the remote uh, place and particularly important things that you want to uh, uh, point at or manipulate in that remote space and bring uh, the, the ability to ma manipulate directly to remote users. The work on the, uh, anywhere augmentation that we do in the Four Eyes Lab uh, is geared towards uh, making uh, the technology for augmented reality uh, available um, in any new situation, any new place, uh, and for uh, any new application. Currently with augmented reality applications, uh, you have the problem that uh, um, they either uh, rely on sensors in the devices that you use for uh, uh, your augmented reality experience, like cell phones or tablets, that are not really very accurate. Uh, or you have to do a, an intense amount of work to prepare an environment. And so we have um, used virtual reality, creating computer graphics that completely immerse you um, to uh, test such augmented reality scenarios. So in the uh, uh, Four Eyes Lab, uh, we have uh, quite a few collaborations with the uh, UCSB Allosphere. The Allosphere is a, a three-story high um, virtual reality laboratory um, that allows uh, immersion into uh, any kind of information landscape. One way we use the Allosphere uh, for the mixed reality simulation work is that uh, uh, we play back realistic uh, um, representations of real environments. This is our augmented reality backdrop. So one example application for this type of augmented reality that uh, places real 3D content in your field of vision um, would be uh, a landscaping application that we have prototyped. You could test out uh, um, specific placements of uh, um, landscape elements such as uh, a tree here, a flower bed there, a, uh, um, a fountain, uh, and what they would look like in uh, the environment that you want to modify.